people of the internet. It is Thursday and I'm about to change this one's diaper. It's been a bit of a rough end to our afternoon. It's almost five o'clock so Ryan's gonna be home soon because this little girl got her first band-aid required owie. Didn't you? Yeah, it just happened not too long ago. It's still causing her pain. We'll show you guys later once we take the bandaid off of it. But basically I've decided that the coffee table needs to stay up in like the living room and we're gonna have to find like some other coffee table <laughs> um, for downstairs or table or whatever for drinks and such because that coffee table is dangerous. A lot of you guys mentioned adding pool noodles to it but the issue is that are you okay? I know. The coffee table is made out of crates, so you can't put, like, new, there's no edge around all the sides for it, unfortunately. Um, so although that was a really awesome DIY that we did, it is dangerous for children, just for warning you. But basically what happened was she was getting up off of the couch. This time there was a toy on the ground, though, when she got up off of the um, couch, and so she slipped forward on the toy and whacked her head, like, really hard. Um, thankfully, it missed her eye, at least it seems it did, because her cut is literally right next to her eye, so we got lucky with that. I'll we'll have to keep an eye on her, but... I don't see any redness in her eye or anything, so you have boogers all over your face though, so let's go get let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of them boogers. Well hello. Oh, you wanna go outside? Okay. This little one, I um you guys already know, but she hit her head and look, she's like her eye is all bruised up now. Poor girl. Rap, can you show him your bruise? These holy cow, do you see that guys? That is crazy. I feel so bad. Do you feel okay? Yes. Yeah. Ariana and Erily just got back from the chiropractor. This one took a nap, an afternoon nap, because she didn't sleep very well earlier. And it's a good thing she did, because she seems to be fairly happy now. But she uh, doesn't want to eat. Doesn't want mac and cheese. She ate one piece of a single chicken fry. And that was it. Isn't that right? Oh. Whoa. Oh. And guess what we're doing tonight? Tonight we are going to the new house to film the house tour that you guys will see on Saturday. So that's going to be fun. Moon. moon. I don't see the moon. The moon is not out yet. It's too early for the moon. Ah. Yeah, it is. So we are at the new house. We just filmed the house tour, which you guys will see on Saturday. This one loves running around in the backyard. Loves running around the house as a whole, don't you? Oh my goodness, okay, don't pull them all out. Yeah, that's, you just need one wipe. I'm actually gonna bring the vacuum in because I brought that with. Probably not gonna do anything with it tonight, but so it's here on Saturday, so those that are the first ones here on Saturday can hopefully do some vacuuming just to make sure there's not all kinds of nasty stuff in the carpet, which it's brand new carpet, there probably isn't, but you know, there's all the little fuzzies that, you know, they come out of the carpet. So hopefully just get all that stuff vacuumed in, vacuumed up before we, before we start moving all the furniture and everything. Look at our two girls, you're so cute, careful. Oh, you gotta be careful. <laughs> Can you give baby sister cuddle? Hey, that, you gotta be gentle, Rev. Aww. Oh, that's so yes. sweet. Oh. Sorry. Rev, I'm gonna go get the vacuum, okay? We are putting this one down to bed. She is very cranky this evening. And I think this little bump on her head, as you can see, her eye is like actually swollen. And I took it off, so you can kind of see her. Owie. Can I have your right arm? Can I have your left arm? Thank you. So we're home. It's actually uh, 11 o'clock. So it's a few hours later. Um, quick rundown of how the rest of our evening went. We got home. Rev was upset since almost the moment we got in the car and was just screaming. And then we get home. And then she went down to bed. Oh, Ariana was editing the 
a house tour video. And then I went and got into bed and finished up everything I needed for my class because it ends tomorrow. And then while I was sitting there doing that, while I was in the middle of my uh, 70 question test, time test, Ariana's sitting next to me on the bed. She's feeding Early, and all of a sudden, Early just pukes, spits up everything. Never before have I ever seen that much spit up come from a child. It was everywhere. It was all over the boppy. It was all over Ariana. It was all over. It got on her sleep sack. It got on her onesie underneath it. Got all the way like around her back and on her hair got on the bed it was disgusting like it was a ton and so we had to change the sheets throw everything in the wash actually the wash is just now finishing so i'm going to take this and throw it in the dryer now and yeah so it's been an interesting evening to say the least it was very stressful once we got home so it is friday morning and as you can see i'm in the back seat of the car because rev has a doctor's appointment with the geneticist today at 11 a.m and so i just came home to drop the car off for ariana well she's taking me back to work and so in the back with these two yeah yeah and christina's here because she is going with ariana to help help care for the children um because it's difficult to take two little ones by yourself so that's where they're headed i'm headed back to work for the rest of the day sadly we are at Revlon's geneticist appointment now. She was not happy about getting weighed or her height. And she said that she doesn't think she is hypermobile. Maybe it was just a fluke thing with her dislocating her elbow. Um, but she said if we have issues to bring her back at five, because it's hard to diagnose it in little kids. Um, but Rev's doing good size-wise. She's also actually not really that concerned about it. Right? Hi, say I'm good. Okay, let's go. What she is not good with is being here and she wants to go home. Okay, so I am back home now. Christina went back home. Um, Rev is down for a nap. Early is napping. If you haven't gathered already, in this vlog we are including Friday's footage. We're only going to be vlogging Friday today, like this morning, because I just decided that one, normally we start our weekend vlogs from like Friday to Sunday and that's all the footage that you see on Monday, but because we're moving tomorrow, um, there's going to be so much footage. I know we're going to have plenty for Monday's vlog and so I just figured why not just include the geneticist appointment since that's really the only interesting thing we're going to be doing today in today's vlog for you guys that you're seeing right now because this evening Friday like I'm talking to you guys in real time right now because you're going to see this vlog today the only interesting thing we're going to be doing tonight is packing <laughs> um, and so really that isn't that interesting and we need to just be able to focus and really get what we need to do done thankfully we really don't have that much to pack it's just mainly our clothes and the bathrooms and like Rev's room my parents Parents are taking Rev this evening. Ryan's mom is coming over tonight to watch Airly, um, like in the apartment, so that if I need to breastfeed, stuff like that, I can take a break. But she's going to be keeping her happy, so Ryan and I can really just focus on getting everything packed. So, because we have to do that, and we're going to be doing a live stream tonight, I just thought it was easier. And so yesterday, or two days ago, question of the day, because I didn't upload yesterday. Again, crazy moving week, you guys understand. <laughs> we had like no footage yesterday. Two days ago, question of the day was, do you go to a chiropractor? And if so, did you see positive results? Yes. Um, I need to go to a chiropractor more regularly. I need to find one within my insurance. I have the start of degenerative disc, disc disease and scoliosis. Um, and so I should be going regularly and our old chiropractor that we were going to wasn't in network and it just got too expensive So we couldn't go the one that I took right that I took early to it's too expensive for me to go as often as I'm supposed to be going twice a week so <clears throat> I have to find one within my network that I can go to on a regular basis 
but I definitely see positive results from it. It got rid of my headaches, just the regular lower back pain that I had on a regular basis. And I've been going to chiropractors since I was like 12 years old, since I was diagnosed with scoliosis, I've been going. So because we were just talking about pacifiers, today's question of the day is going to be, when you were a kid, did you take a pacifier? Did you suck your thumb or did you not do either of those? So let us know your answer in the comments down below. I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog. And if you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure to keep a lookout for tomorrow's vlog to see our full house tour. And so it's not gonna be as always on Monday. This time we will see you guys tomorrow. Um, but I hope that you guys did enjoy this and we will see you guys with a house tour tomorrow morning and then we'll see you guys on Monday. Bye guys. Baby, okay. baby, stay here. There were things floating in the bottom, so I was like, I must have to shake it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and they said right here, if you are pregnant or breastfeeding, please consult with your healthcare professional before consuming our products. Um, you definitely did not read anything on the bottle. I heard about it before and they needed to read it. Oh, yep, right here. This product contains a trace amount of alcohol. Does it?